Well, hello friends of the internet and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the like line of direct sunlight right here. Um, it's been a weird day. Like there's definitely cloud cover right now, but it keeps going like in and out. So whatever. I mean, it's the weekend. I only have a limited time to film these videos. So we're gonna get to it. So anyways, um, I will link my money playlist up in a card for you guys if you are interested we're gonna do my monthly budget for august i can't believe it's like already like coming into august now that's kind of amazing anyway um for the planner that i use i get a lot of questions about it um there is a link below to like how i set this up this is like a, what i call a franken planner there are two planners in one so I use the uh, EC Life Planner in the hourly layout. I have the pages for the monthly views that are the colorful. And then for my weekly layout, um, I actually just did this week here. It's in the neutral, so there's no color on this whatsoever. Hold on, I'll go to a blank week so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, but like right here. You can kind of see that there's no color on it whatsoever so it just allows me a little bit more um creativity so anyway but this is how i set up my uh monthly budget and i'm a decorative planner i am a single person my name is emily um but yeah and i really like um the binder option from erin condren just because i can take the pages out really easily like this so also, just a side note, I do clearly like to decorate in my planner, and so this washi here is from Simply Gilded. The link will be down below. The link's going to be down below for all of the things that I am using today. Um, also, this cute little scallop, which is this, but in a bigger version, is also from Coffee Break Planner. And then this cute little sticker that says monthly budget is from Lulu's Daisies and Co. So, let's get into the budget. I'm going to push this little guy off to the side, and... We're just gonna work on this page. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit here so we can kind of get the party started. And um, yeah, just go from there. So let's see here. What are we doing this month? So as some of you know that have watched my videos before, um, basically my bills stay very similar. I don't have any debt I'm paying off. I don't have like a debt snowball. I do follow the Dave Ramsey plan, but I am debt free besides my mortgage. And I just, I live a very simple life financially. So I know that some of you really love these videos and that's why I do them, but they do look very similar from month to month. And I do have a little sticky note on here sometime in August I don't know when this is happening but um, go wild which is an annual planner conference uh, that wild for planners puts on I believe in August or at least there was an announcement several months ago saying in August the hotel rooms were opening up they're gonna open up the block of hotel rooms in August so um, I am going with my friend Ryan from a man with the plans I'm gonna link his channel down below for you guys you guys should check him out he does planning and he does like awesome financial videos um if you guys are looking for somebody else to watch as well because there's room for everybody and we all have a different take on stuff but um i'm not sure how we're doing the room blocking if he's just gonna use his debit card or i'm gonna use my debit card um and block the room or like if there's actual money involved right away because the actual conference isn't happening until june of 2021 so um that could be something financially i'll have to put into this budget like maybe if they i don't know take 100 bucks or i mean i i have no idea so that's just kind of like this little posty jobber right here so anyway let's get into me actually writing down everything and then i'll go into everything i'll just speed this footage up like i normally do and um there's a few extra things this month that i will talk about as well so future emily play some music and speed this thing up <laughs> just go over all of the categories and just talk about them really quickly. I know a lot of people that watch the channel already um, know about these things, but 
let's get into it so here are my just these are like my fixed expenses that's what i like to put up here um so my fixed expenses are just bills that i know i have that aren't really gonna change they might vary just slightly but these are like actual bills coming in that i need to pay every single month or annually or quarterly or whatever so First off is my mortgage, which is $455.21. I get questions every single budget. I'm gonna link a video up in a card for you guys and I will also link it down below. It's gonna be my mortgage details. Um, I did pay half down on my house and that's why I have such a tiny mortgage. And um, yes, I'm working the baby steps. However, I am not contributing more to my mortgage as of right now. Um, I'm doing baby step four, which is contributing 15% of my income into retirement, which I also have a video about, so I'm gonna link that and put it down below. I got a lot of videos, you guys. So I'm just not there yet, but I will be there at some point. And I know Dave Ramsey says to do four, five, and six simultaneously. I don't have children, so I don't have a baby step five, which is contributing to kids' college. That ain't happening. My 13-year-old dog is not gonna go to college, so <laughs> I don't have to really worry about that one. Um, but yeah, I've got other things I'm focusing on at the moment, which, I'll get in, get, which I will get into in just a second, because there's other things down here for that. My HOA, which is a homeowners association. Um, if you're not familiar with the homeowners association, um, at least for mine personally, they, are, they all kind of differ, but mine takes care of the exterior um, of my home. So they do like the lawn maintenance, uh, snow removal. They do like rural enforcement, things like that. And they also, um, I believe, insure my roof, if I remember right. So they do a lot of different things. Um, they also, you know, enforce all the rules and regulations and things like that. So that's 158 a month, which is actually not too bad considering my area. Um, most of the HOAs that I looked into uh, were way more than that. So anyway, auto insurance is the same at $56.21. Culligan, I do have a water softening unit that I rent every month and then Culligan actually comes out, I think it's twice a year and does like an inspection on it, make sure everything's good to go. Um, I have really bad water in my area, so it's $33.12. Um, and then my electric, this is an estimate. My electric is ticking up just because it's been really hot and um, I anticipate it being around $110 this upcoming month. So that's kind of an estimate. My trash and recycling is the same every month at $16.20. My gas is $33. That's just kind of a fixed rate. Uh, gas goes up in the winter just because you're using more heat, but my gas company, you can opt in to do a program that just basically um, divides your bill by like 12 months or how much uh, you know gas you've used in the previous 12 months, and then it'll adjust it accordingly. So anyway, every once in a while my gas is a little bit different. It might, might be like $36 or like 29 or something like that. It's usually at the very end of the year that that happens. Um, anyway, so my water is also an estimate at $59. So I pay like a water and sewer bill from my city. And then Netflix is $4.01. So I get a total of $934.75 for all my like fixed things. So here's the things that I can kind of flex on a little bit. So I have my grocery money, which is usually about $300 a month. Again, I am single. Um, I have like some new meal prep plans and things like that that I am working on um, for some of my stomach issues and reflux issues that I've had. So um, I actually will have a grocery haul video, I think coming out next week um, for you guys with some links to recipes that I am trying out like per my dietitian's request. So anyway, this upcoming month, I do have a couple of different um, like social things. So my dining slash takeout budget is about $140. $60 for fuel. That's basically two fill-ups, which is totally fine right now because I'm really not using fuel in the way that I did, you know, seven months ago just because of the pandemic and I'm just not going into the office any longer. Uh, but I do go out, go food shopping, go do other things. Um, I do meet with small groups of people every once in a great while when I'm feeling comfortable. So anyway, that's a total of $500. So the total of these two amounts, which I already know is gonna be $1,434.75. And I wrote plus tile plus hotel. So let's get into the bottom here. Um, so I put a little house sticker and a little like luggage sticker. So 
If you guys are aware, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know this because I update on Instagram quite a bit, but I have been in the middle of doing a kitchen remodel project, which has been um, overwhelming to say the least, but it's it's been really good. So I'm painting, I actually, I painted my upper cabinets already. I still haven't painted the lowers. I just need to find some motivation and time. However, last month, if you guys remember, if you watched my video from last month, I actually got quartz countertops installed. So that was really exciting. And I already paid that off um, within the month of July. So it's very exciting to do things with cash. It's just very a very freeing feeling. Um, but anyways, so now I'm on to the next step, which is picking out some backsplash tile. So that is actually gonna be happening in the month of August. I'll probably be paying for it in August, but I probably won't be actually having anyone install it until I would say September or October. I'm really not sure. I do need to have an electrician come in and also um, do some stuff with the electrical outlets before I have a tiler come in and put new tile up. And I also have to remove the tile too. So I need to talk to the tiler about that, about how to safely remove it from the drywall or if they can do it and like just costs and stuff like that. So anyway, that's a whole nother situation, but I think I'll be able to just pay for the actual products like the tile and grout and just have them at my house. So then once I am ready to have them installed that I can just hire a tiler for their labor. That being said, so that's another expense, but I have zero idea of how much it's going to be. Um, early in the month of August, I am planning a day to go out and go to a few different places and look at tile options and hopefully be able to pick out something that day and then um, get that ordered hopefully, fingers crossed, that day as well. Um, also, like I said before, the Go Wild Hotel deposit, I'm not sure what that's going to be. However, if Ryan uh, has decided to put it on his card um, and they charge him something, I would like to make sure that I meet, you know, him halfway with that. So say if they, you know, require a hundred dollar deposit, I want to make sure that I like Venmo or PayPal him like $50 just to make sure that like my half is covered. And then at the very end of us going out to go wild in Anaheim, California in June of next year, um, then we'll like settle up everything as well. Cause then, you know, his card or my card won't get charged. I, for everything until we actually, you know, use the services at the hotel, if that makes sense. So anyways, I kind of have a few things that are just kind of open this month, which is weird. I don't think I've ever had that before. That is what my budget for August 2020 looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload videos. And I hope you got some value out of this video as well. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye y'all. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.